had to go to the bathroom. And she saw a sign that, uh, no, uh, slow down. It's a gas station and uh, it had a big Confederate flag. And she didn't know what that meant. And I was like, that's just saying, like, these people still believe slavery still, it didn't end. <laughs> you know, they don't care about black people or anybody with suntan. So, and she said, well, we can't go in there? And no, she said, uh, that's what white people probably just want, little white people and black people, little black people. It's like, no, no, it was forced. They had like a thousand rules and a thousand whatever that you can't mix. So, big and long story short, she opened the door, cars went by, and she just went on the outside. And I've already seen a nigga playing in times. But anyway, the reason I brought this up, I was telling uh, Mo that uh, society itself, even though the signs are gone, it's still like that. And Malcolm X said like 50 years ago, it's like a modern plantation. And don't get me wrong, I'm a very positive person. I hate to dwell on the negative all the time. And, but it really is. And uh, that's why I get mad, not so much at so-called white people. I get along with white people fine. There's a lot of white people that do, and a lot of white people that don't. There's a lot of black people that don't get along with, a lot of black people that do. But the point is, is that you can't dwell on the negative, but you have to see the positive in everything. So even though I told her to go to the bath on the outside, I think that's a good choice. But it's like, you're in the Poconos in the redneck area, and we're interracial. That's not good, <laughs> you know? So you gotta be smart. Even when dating interracially, you do things accordingly to like, okay, we go to New York, diversity, we go to other places. But nah, I would never take Natasha to a Trump rally in Arkansas, Arkansas, Tennessee, late at night. That's stupid. The same 